All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to show you a couple of scams that had popped into my mailbox recently that are fairly typical of the kind of scams you're going to see, especially coming out of India, uh, but also other countries as well, uh, where they're going to contact you by email and try to trick you into either going to a website or calling. Either way, the purpose is either to gain access to your computer well, they've got you on the phone so they can use your phone and your, sorry, your, um, your microphone and they can listen to you and they can use your camera so they can see you. Plus, they have full access to your computer. They can install software on it. They can shop using your accounts and drain your bank accounts and your, your uh, cryptocurrency wallets and everything else. Um, or they use a website in order to put malware on there. Now, if they get access to your computer because you grant them access through a remote software program like TeamViewer or any of the number of other ones, um, they can also put malware on your computer that way. So I wanted to share these with you because this one is claiming to be from Microsoft. It's obviously not from Microsoft. How do we know that? Because they're not going to send it from a person's address. They're going to send it from a Microsoft address. And so it says, I've got a $390 uh, exchange, which I guess is a purchase. And it's and my, my, pres my protection is presently ready for action once more. Oh, I see. They're ex okay. So they're trying to trick me into thinking that um, I have recently uh, gotten to the point where I need to renew my support or protection once more from, from Microsoft. And it's the Microsoft Firewall Protection, which, by the way, is free. There is no charge at all for Microsoft Firewall. And... Um, so they give you all this stuff to, they've got my, e, an email address, which is, you know, bunk, whatever. Uh, they've got a fake invoice ID and a fake customer ID and an issue date and every, it's all fake. So, you know, right off the top of the, uh, that this is fake because even if you have a Microsoft product, even if you've got a Microsoft product that is coming due, they're not going to contact you this way. They're going to contact you on the Microsoft.com um, or they're going to send you uh, something official, not this crap. And then they send you this 845 number. Now, 845, this could be um, a call center that is located in America, but the calls are actually being transferred from another country to America. Uh, 845 area code. Okay, so it's in New York. And they claim this is in San Francisco. Huh. Right. And they give a mail... <laughs> that's a that's a mistake on their part. They forgot to put a space after after copyright. So let's find out what this is. Map google.com and we'll put that address in there. And we'll just whoops, why did it okay. The Castro Barber, uh, that doesn't sound right. Where can I put you? How about if I put you right here? Will you let me? Yes, you'll let me. All right, so we gotta go a little bit. No, we gotta go that way. And this is kind of frustrating because they've got all these temporary stands here that are making it really, really hard to see anything. So I think I'm going to have to, oh my gosh, this is not good. This is pretty bad actually. Uh, you know, it kind of sucks when this kind of thing happens. That you get these companies. All right, what's this? European Wax Center. 
under glass custom picture framing and that is what address are we looking at 2233 so that might be 35 and so that should be 37 Wow, it's really nice to have that photograph of that thing there. Oh, golly. All right, so we'll go back to this. Okay. Should be right about here. I don't know why they have it marked right there. Because we got 2257 here. This would be 2260 something, but, well, hold on. Uh, right, 2261. Uh, so it's the Barber Lounge. And in the back, they've got an iPro, iPhone, and Mac repair shop. Hmm. Let's see if we can get put right there. Nope. But hey, look. Now this is from June of this year. So this is very, very recent. And it's mail access, postal service mailbox rental. Uh-huh. That right there is suspicious. Now there is a, it is a shop house, it looks like. Because we got residents up here, apparently. You can see. It doesn't look like a business at all. So somebody lives up there. I wonder why they blocked that out. Interesting. 2261, that's it. So this is clearly some kind of a scam. We can tell that, oops. We can tell that right away because it doesn't, it's certainly not a Microsoft business and it has an, a New York phone number for a California address, and it's got all this other crap. So this is one of the ones I wanted to show you. The other one is this one here, and this is supposed to be for Square. Now, Square, let's see, Square is a, if I'm not incorrect, Square is this. It's in a solution for accepting purchases. And you can go to sign up. But and they even put this information in here. I'm not sure if this was put in by, uh, by Microsoft or if this was put in by the um, company itself. I'm assuming that Microsoft is doing that to help you avoid a fraud. But interestingly, this has uh, from Billy Messenger at messaging.squareup.com. So let's, oops, oh, my stuff is blocking. That's, since I have the correct address for it, I don't have to worry. Uh, contact sales. No, that's not what I wanted to do, probably. Nope. Um, hmm, that's not going to help. See if there's anything different down here on this page. All right, so how to contact you aside from I have a phone number. Sales support. Yeah, I'm not really sure where their email address might be, but this is pretty suspicious, don't you think? Uh, so we've got phony, <laughs> or phony. Sounds like an Indonesian uh, phone. Um, sorry, an Indonesian name. Um, and they're saying that I owe $432.82 and I'm overdue as of the 15th of this month. And yet, uh, I don't have an order with them. I have never used them probably this is going to be a scam now 
take a look in the bottom left corner here, down here. I assume you can see it. It says a.squareupmessaging.com. Now, is Square Up Messaging the same website as squareup.com? No, absolutely not. It is a completely different website. So we can't trust that website. Who is Square Up Messaging? It's probably going to be hidden behind a secret um, registration. Usually, uh, scammers will set up websites like this in order to... So this is probably going to download an invoice that's infected or some kind of PDF that's infected, if it's even a PDF at all. And it doesn't really look like it's a PDF. Um, and, oh, if you didn't authorize this transaction. Well, I didn't authorize it. They didn't give me the last four of my... Uh, card and they didn't provide any information that convinces me that this is legitimate so this is obviously going to be fraudulent well, let's just take a look here squareupmessaging.com who is okay so I'm gonna have to get the IP address which I should be able to find in the original message or the message source. And they've tried to obscure the IP address like that to make it harder to search. So what you could do is you could take that into something that will convert it from, it looks like hexadecimal to uh, the system that we use, which is base 10, or by, um, and then you'd be able to search for it very easily. And it's got a cipher. Interesting. Receive from. Now, this is coming from Amazon, looks like. I don't know. I'm going to report these as scams. So I'm going to mark both of them as phishing. And then I'm going to report phishing, and bye bye. Um, if I, I don't, I don't want to take the time to show you how to convert the IP and search on who is, but it would definitely show you can see uh, that the information has been concealed. It is a 100% a scam. So make sure that uh, when you get stuff like this, always be extremely careful. Um, especially if it shows up in the junk email folder. I mean, not everything is junk that goes in there, but um, if it ends up there, it's probably a scam. And, and you should be very, very cautious. Do not click on links and do not call phone numbers that they have provided. Do not um, open uh, attachments. Um, if the company, they say they're from like Microsoft, well then go online and look up the Microsoft phone number for customer service or technical support. You know, same for Disney or um, Google or any other company. You're gonna look, go online, not using the information presented in the email. And that's about it for me. What the? Um, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day.